China's remote northeast is a place of many treasures. Among them, there's wood for burning and some unique kinds of clay. Here, Shan Zhequi has built himself a wood-fired kiln. By making pottery, he's pursuing a dream he had as a child. With his wife at his side, he's turned his dream into his livelihood. The Art of Clay and Fire on Spectrum Asia, CCTV News. It looks rough and unfinished. It certainly lacks the aesthetic appeal of most porcelain, yet it has a unique claim to fame, hinted at in the name meteorite pottery. What's special about this piece is that it's made from clay containing elements from a meteorite that struck the earth tens of thousands of years ago. The meteorite pottery is the work of Shan Zhequi a potter with a strong sense of tradition, he insists on burning wood to fire his pottery and has even built his own kiln. The location in Xuyen Manchu Autonomous County in Liaoning Province is remote, only accessible by a rough path through a grassy ravine. He kneads the clay repeatedly. When he feels it's ready, he takes a deep breath and begins to turn the wheel. He empties his mind so that he can concentrate exclusively on the clay moving beneath his light touch. Jyoti works from morning until 10 o'clock at night, only stopping for a brief break at noon. Molding the clay takes up the whole of his working day. He places the piece on the rack with extreme care. In northeast China, where Shan Zhequi lives, there are very few traditional wood-fired kilns to be found these days. Pottery clay is also hard to come by. He's setting off in search of some, leaving his latest works to dry in the sun. Wood-fired kilns, though in widespread use abroad, are rarely seen in China these days. There's a saying among potters, only a master can use a wood-fired kiln. Those who have mastered the necessary skills are held in reverence among their peers. Shan Zhequi has a simple philosophy of life. He believes that the most precious thing for a person is not fame, but an optimistic state of mind. He's found his calling in life and is determined to excel at it. After two hours, he finds what he's looking for in an abandoned pit.
His next stop is an abandoned chalk pit. Here, he breaks up the chalk with his hammer. He'll select the best pieces to take with him for use in making pottery. As a boy, his favorite toy was the clay he found near his grandfather's home. He loved to play with it, kneading it to make various figures. The focus of all his childhood dreams was clay. He never shook off his childhood fascination. Eventually, he went to study at Jingdezhen Ceramics College. There, he developed an interest in using a wood fire to create raw pottery. Electric and gas firing is relatively efficient and easier to control. Using a wood-fired kiln is far more difficult. Firing takes longer and can cause the pottery to change in unpredictable ways. Baking pottery in a wood-fired kiln is an art in itself and quite unsuitable for industrialized production. But it perfectly matches Shan Zhiqi's desire to model himself on the pottery makers of ancient times. After his graduation, he looked for a job in the big city. A porcelain art company in Shanghai was so impressed by his work that they built him his own kiln. But before long, he found himself missing his home, and his regular visits there stirred happy memories of his childhood. My dream 根深蒂固就是说我怎么想的我就一定要按照我最初的这个梦想去做下去在哪我觉得都可以去用我的手艺去获得我想要的东西如果我能够用我的手艺在我的家乡同样去过着我想要过的生活我觉得家里人又能够
未曾到过的地方，你就总有一种想去的感觉。所以我觉得我可以让这一项工艺在这里能够生根发芽。慢慢的了解他这个想法之后，我觉得他这个不是任性，我觉得。他的这个想法是可行的，我我觉得他肯定能够做下去这件事情。And so, in 2013, Shan Zhejie and Xu Wenting arrived in his home village in Liaoning Province. Zhejie was back amid the landscape that was so familiar to him from his childhood, and he resolved to reproduce the scenery in his pottery works. He explored the mountains and wilderness, looking for a site for his kiln. He eventually decided on a spot in a wormwood-covered ravine, which inspired him to give himself a new professional alias, Wormwood Hill. I first came here, I smelled a wormwood from the wormwood. Wormwood, it's all around. It's strong. 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 啊，那我希望我也有这种精神，能够像耗子一样不挑地方，在这个山谷里面散发着我做陶瓷的这种气氛。Wenting also gave herself an alias, Quiet Rain. 我觉得耗山能有一片雨水所滋润的话，我觉得它才能更好、更茂盛的生长。Based on his own design, Shan Zhejie built his kiln in the spot he had chosen. By the time the work was finished, he and Wenting had a full load of pottery ready for baking. The deciding factor is the wood and the fire. The wood is constantly discovering, constantly looking for. The fire is saying that in the south there is this resource. 嗯，因为我们东北呢，它有烧炕的文化，所以家家都冬天呢都会备一些柴火。所以说我们。就会到这种柴场去考察它究竟有什么木材的种类，然后呢，究竟哪一种柴火适合我们烧，哪一种柴火呢？嗯，它能够呃耐得起高温，然后呢，它能够在高温的环节里面能发挥到它的应有的作用。柴烧的本质，它最有灵气的这一部分呢，也是在于这个落灰。Shan decided to use wood from the scholar tree. But his kiln would need a lot of it, and chopping it all into suitably sized pieces was time-consuming work. I For his first batch of pottery, Shan Zhejie decided to mix soapstone with the clay. He made inquiries at a local market asking where soapstone could be found, and was told there were sources in the local mountains. With the soapstone secured, he filled his kiln with raw pottery and firewood. He stayed beside it day and night to make sure the fire didn't go out. A week passed, and the time came for the first batch of pottery to be removed. However, he was disappointed by the results. When the first batch was opened, I saw that many things were broken. I felt a little bit sad for my family, because my family helped me so much. I wanted to see some hope. Zhe Xi started to be upset, because he was coming to the north, and he was supporting his family. He was giving a lot of time and effort to spend on this thing. 所以他觉得很对不起家里人。当时我跟他说：“别灰心，我们还是可以继续慢慢做实验，去研究到底问题出在哪里。” Shan Zhejie didn't give up. He experimented with different kinds of clay and tried new firing techniques. After many failures, he finally succeeded in producing some pottery he was happy with. 能够看到上面的结晶。器物的状态是表明器物没有变形，然后器物的完整度应该还可以，自然流灰流的痕迹也非常清楚。
对紫金杯的颜色非常漂亮。The burning firewood leaves traces that can cause unpredictable changes to the color of the pottery's surface. These traces and the ash glaze can produce surprising effects. As their professional relationship blossomed, so too did their romantic feelings for each other. Before long, the Potter couple were married. He's a man with a passion for making pottery. But he shuns the modern industrialized approach to the art. Instead, he's built his own wood-fired kiln in his native northeast. There, he wanders near and far in search of unique kinds of clay. From this very ordinary raw material, he fashions truly extraordinary works of art. Making pottery has been his dream since his childhood, but never did he imagine it might become his career. Nor did he think that one day he might encounter a soulmate who would share his work and his home. When people can put their own 全身心投入在一件事情，我觉得他是最幸福的。With their success, the silence in the valley was shattered by people flocking to buy their pottery. Meanwhile, Shan Zhiqi was learning to appreciate the rich varieties of clay he found in the abandoned mines near his home village. He conducted a series of experiments, combining the various kinds of clay that he found. This is high clay. 这是长石粉，袋子经过长时间风化，已经没有没有这个韧性了，轻微一碰就烂了。哎，这是我最开始的时候，刚回辽宁，一直寻找的一种土。这是我们做瓷器里面也非常重要的一种土，叫高岭土。为了找这个土呢，我去过很多地方。我觉得我的这个土它具有它自己的性格，烧出来的颜色都很漂亮。真的，为了找这个土，我花费了很多精力。找到那一天的时候，我非常兴奋，我几乎几乎不敢相信，在我的附近能有这么好的土源。By mixing the kaolin with clay from the nearby mountains, Shanjiqi succeeded in producing some fine pottery pieces. But this still didn't satisfy him, so he turned his attention to making meteorite pottery. Gulong village is 20 kilometers away from Shanjiqi's kiln. In 2009, a huge round pit, 150 meters deep and two and a half square kilometers in area, was examined by experts from the Chinese Academy of Sciences. 
they confirmed that the pit had been formed when part of a meteorite smashed into the Earth's surface. The impact reduced the meteorite to a powder. Mixed with the local flora in the course of tens of thousands of years, this powder became a unique type of clay. This knowledge gave Shan Zhechi an idea. He would use the clay to make a special kind of pottery that had never been seen before. The villager is happy to give Shan the special clay he wants for his pottery. The clay has to be crushed, weighed, dried, sieved, milled, and pressed. P two, 经过筛制之后，大概是在四十亩左右。经过球磨之后呢，能达到一百二十亩。一百二十亩就很适合做。It's important to make sure that the granules are fine and of the same size, as this eliminates the chance of air bubbles appearing. To achieve such a result, the wet clay must be stirred and pressed repeatedly. Shan Zhechi and Xu Wenting have prepared enough clay to keep them occupied for the entire winter. They've also begun to prepare the food they'll need. Dried gourd is popular locally. The gourd is peeled and the flesh is cut into strips. Shan particularly enjoys doing this as it's very like working with pottery. <laughs> The dried gourd strips are the couple's favorite food in winter. Loading the kiln is a complex business and requires careful arrangement. The direction of the airflow and the way the ash may float are among many factors that must be taken into consideration. The position of the pieces may also affect the way they turn out. The job is time-consuming and requires extreme care. We are the most important thing to do is fire, 你就是一件瓷器，你在窑里面如何去让迎来的火让你变得更美丽？当人能够把自己的全身心投入在一件事情，我觉得他是最幸福的。Shan Zhechi spends over seven hours arranging the unbaked pottery. The experimental pieces are placed in the heart of the kiln. 哎，好。
来自星星的在地球上的结合，形成的这种尘埃。我觉得接下来我是会不断的去尝试用这种稀少的土源去烧制我认为好看的东西。这个土呢是陨石坑的黑土，上窑在烧制的过程中呢，我觉得效果很理想。那么这一窑呢，我想把它变成一个器皿。嗯、呃，这窑想看一下它是最终的一个器皿的一个样子。把它放在相对相对温度高一点的地方。嗯、呃，窑里面相对比较高的位置。它的灰呢比较干净，呃，看上去会比较温润一点到某一个点，我突然间睡睡着了，所以说这种地方是非非常让我害怕的，又冷，又担心，还时刻提醒自己不能睡，不能睡，所以这这是最难受的，我觉得。The flames in the kiln are high. The light is bright, reflecting the contentment Shanjie Chi feels at doing the things he loves most. In the place he loves most. Yes. 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 Yes.